Hello guys and welcome to another video tutorial here on shade designs and today's video tutorial is going to be a quick and simple video tutorial on how to crop an image from an image. What I mean by that, if you have an image like this and you want to get a specific area and crop out a specific uh, you know, for area of the image and to place it into another document, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's simple. For instance, if you want to only crop out, if you're interested only in this the apple and the strawberry and not the rest of the other fruits I don't know why but if you just want to get those two um, you know for pieces of information from a specific for image I'm gonna um, I'm gonna show you this guys how to do it and the way to do it using the lasso tool but before we get into that let's head on to the website so this is my website it's shadedesigns.com you'll be able to find all the files and information and anything like that I'll be posting everything on here on the site um, you can also download the tutorial material so each tutorial that I'll make I'll be able to post um, the materials for you guys to download free of charge of course so just head on to shadedesigns.com under the video tab you'll see tutorial materials from there onwards, you'll be able to download the specific um, tutorial materials. Okay, so you, um, as I said, it's free and it's also in PD, um, PSD, which means it's in Photoshop document file type, um, and you can use it however you like. Okay, um, I'm not putting any uh, for copyright issues or anything like that into it. Um, you can use it however you like. I do have a Facebook fan page, which I do post regularly on, um, you know, articles and, um, you know, the, you know, the videos and things like that. Um, for all the artworks that I did, all the things like that. Um, if any for tutorials and things like that, you know, that I, you know, that I found, um, you know, over the, um, on other websites that I find for interesting, which one to post. I'll post it onto the actual Facebook fan page. That's the number one place to find out the development story. So it's facebook.com forward slash shade designs. Okay, and uh, enough said. With, and enough said, let's just get into the tutorial. Okay, so we're going to start off with this image. Okay, it's a special, it's a simple image of fruit. Just Google um, image search fruit and also just make it to be a large image. Okay, so it's going to be, uh, don't get like a small fat image, it's going to be a bit hard and a bit blurry. Um, it's going to be yeah, a bit, you know, pixel, um, pixelated if you get a small image. So try to work with a large image. Um, a file or a photo from a camera that you've taken works absolutely fantastic. Okay, so today we're just interested in getting this apple and this little strawberry here and we want to copy them onto a background document which I created. So I created this um, and I want to paste it in the middle and also I want to and apply a shadow effect. Okay, so if I don't want it to just, you know, to look like a simple image because people are going to know, you know, it looks plain and they would know straight away, you know, it's cut and copied. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, is we're going to go to the toolbar and you click on to the lasso tool, which is under the rectangular, the rectangle, the rectangular mark you tool. Um, so it's the polyg, um, I cannot say this at all. <laughs> the polygonal laser tool. So there's a laser tool, polygonal tool, and also magnetic for lace, uh, lasso tool. So we go to the polygonal, whatever. It's called okay, and then we're going to start off by so the way how this tool works is that you click on specific points of the fruit, um, and then it will create an outline. So, um, the best way of describing it is that um, this tool acts like a scissors, okay? So, when you're using the scissors, uh, for scissors and you want to cut for a paper, you you know, you always align it to the lines on the paper in order to cut the area which you want, okay? So, we're just going to start from here. And we're just going to quickly just click on to, you know, the outside curves of um, the fruit. Now, as I said, you can do this uh, the professional way, which, um, you know, you do use something called a graphic pen. But this is the easiest way, and uh, I'm just doing it fast, just for the tutorial's sake. Um, but, yeah, uh, yeah, so even professional photographers, what they... You know, tend to use is that um, they they just zoom in like really deep, um, and they just you know, they just take their time um, in just going over uh, was it you know the extra for artwork and you know the final the final for copy or, or the final for work it does turn out to be you know, very nice. 
So as I said they also do this. They also uh, practice this type of methods. Um, you know, um, in the publishing for industry, um, in the magazine industry, things like that. Whenever they want to get uh, a person's face or uh, or anything like that, and the person behind a background in which they created, they just do this and um, they just copy paste onto the background and they print it off. So that's the easiest way. Okay. So once you're done, okay, it will select itself. Uh, just make sure that you look for that little small little arrow when you get to the closing end. Okay, we're just going to copy that, Control C or Command C on a Mac. Um, and we're going to paste it into our document. Now, as you can see, it looks a bit blurry. Um, n n not blurry, but it looks, um, you know, it's cheaply cut on the side. But, you know, don't worry about that. We're going to make it a bit more professional and it's going to look like it's going to blend into the image of the background behind us. Okay, so first of all, we're going to rotate it to look like, you know, um, they've been placed on a flat surface. So just rotate it about that much. Okay. Perfect. Okay, and we're going to decrease it, of course, because because um, we want room for the shadow. Okay, uh, just move that towards here. Perfect. Then we're going to get a rubber tool. Okay, now in the rubber tool, just make sure that you put the um, the dials for the hardness. Just put it all the way to the end because that's going to give us more sharper. Um, what's a cut? And also just go for this. Yeah, just um, yeah, decrease the size. Into um, into a walkable, uh, a workable uh, for rubber size. Now, if you can't see, I know I've been getting a lot of messages that people asking me that they couldn't see the rubber for outline. So that circle thing here, which is on my mouse, they can't see that. And the reason why you can't see that is because you have your cap lock on on the keyboard. Okay. Now, um, in order to see that, just switch off your cap lock, and then you'll be able to see it. Okay. So we're just gonna cutly, just smoothly. Okay, as I said, I'm just doing this far quickly. Um, you know, if it was, uh, if, you know, um, if a document that you wanted to work out, for example, photos and things like that, you do tend to take your time. Um, just try to, you know, finalize it. And as I said, it does take a bit of practice in um, in getting this, but don't be afraid. Just um, you know, just go for it, and um, you'll learn it eventually. Okay. Okay, just cut around. Okay, that looks okay. So we're doing is so we're just cutting. Uh, was it the corners, the sharp edges? Okay, so we don't want any sharp edges. Okay, we just want them to be like a smooth. Okay, perfect. Now just cut this part off. Okay. Yep. As I said, you can substitute your mouse for a graphic pen, um, and they are a bit expensive at the moment. Um, but you just have to deal with your mouse. Um, and there are screens that are available that you can buy that um, they're touch fast sensitive, so you could use a pen. You could draw on the actual for monitor, and you could you know substitute that um, instead of mouse. You could just use your pen, um, and that it works actually really fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, it actually works fantastic because you have a more control, whereas the mouse is just pinpoint and um, a bit of luck. Okay, so now we'll, we'll, so so we have that all set and done. What we're going to do is we're going to create the shadow. Now to create a shadow, um, it's a bit tricky, but the simplest form of creating a shadow is to duplicate the actual for image you're working on. Okay, uh, duplicate the layer. So right hand click on the layer that you're on. And click on to duplicate layer. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to press Command T or Control T on a PC. Right hand click and then just go to uh, Distort. Okay, and just put that all the way here. Okay. Now don't be afraid because uh, this is going to work out quite okay. Okay, so we have that there. Now we're going to put this underneath the actual layer that we're working on because the shadow is always behind you or under you whatever um, okay and what we're gonna do in order to bring that great type effect is we're going to of course decrease or the brightness okay so we're gonna decrease the brightness to make it a bit um, okay so bring it all the way down okay 
and the contrast can be yep so the contrast is there okay so what you do is you you put the brightness all the way to the left and you put the contrast all the way to the right okay so that creates that bit of darkness part and the reason why you're putting the contrast towards the right is because we want to keep the red part the the red part so as soon as you put into your shadow we wanted to get that nice effect of you know it means that this is an actual red color that is reflecting okay then what we're going to do is we're going to right hand click on the shadow layer blending options um, and then just go and play around with these things um, try to go to Okay, um, so try to click on to linear burn. Okay, <laughs> um, and decrease the opacity. Okay, which is that thing. Actually, click on to normal. Okay, and decrease the opacity. Okay, until you can find something like that. Perfect, okay. Press OK on that and just make some few adjustments on the position of your shadow. So decrease it down. And in order to get that proportional, um, uh, what's it, the proportional um, or transform tool, just hold down your shift, kill, um, your shift key um, and then just use one of these for corner. So as you can see, it's not losing its, um, its proportion. So it's, it's reducing down in size, which is... Uh, you know that's what we want, but it's also keeping the proportion of the actual for image, so we're not getting um, a stretched um, image or anything like that. Press OK on that. So we're going to put it just behind. Okay. So as I said, it's just all about playing around with these tools, a combination of these tools that brings out a perfect Photoshop image. You know, that I've seen on magazines or anything like that. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to right hand click on that. So Control T or Command T, right, and then right hand click and click onto Perspective. Um, and what Perspective does is that it puts it down. Okay, so it makes it look like um, you know, it looks like as if it's a shadow. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, free transform. It's gonna bring that back. Okay, perfect. So bring it back a little bit. Perfect. There you are. See, as you can see, we created something that looks um, decent, but okay, as you could say. Um, and uh, you could also, you know, play around with this and save it and put some text around it. And who knows, that could be a CD cover itself. But you could also add to other images, what, you know, which I have done already. I took another um, for image of fruits and uh, placed it here. As you can see, it's a bit cheaply done. But as I said, you know, it's all about practice and it's all about just taking your time, um, you know, like in order to perfect it. Um, as you can see, um, it does work out um, and it doesn't take that long so I hope you did uh, learn you know something from this tutorial um, just make sure that you click rate or subscribe to this YouTube channel and also don't forget to follow the Facebook fan page which is facebook.com forward slash share designs so until then take care and peace